Hey there, it's Pat Moss and welcome to the next episode of our Europa Universalis 4 game with Italy. And we'll jump into the game and see if we can spend our... can spend... can expend our Italian Empire. Really curious if we can do that. We'll see, let's get time going. And see what we can do. Now... The Ottomans are attacking Spain. Maybe there is an opportunity at some point that we could step in and also try and take a few provinces back. Now it doesn't appear that its allies will soon quit, so it's not too likely, but we could try. Let's see, do we have... Ooh. Fate changed. Austria doesn't appear to be Holy Roman Emperor. Oh yes, okay. He has a lot of allies and ours won't join, so that's not good. So we won't be attacking him anytime soon. Could be attacking the Papal State, of course, then we only have to fight Austria and Liege, that's better than it was. Now we can see a part of the Ottoman army there. Really big, really strong. Province still our ally? Yes. Right. What about provinces right here? Austria will join in Frankfurt and Austria can call in all its allies and that's a problem. That's not what we want. So we'll have to be careful with that. Let's see, Switzerland opinion changes, we lose, uh, yeah. I will let Switzerland hate me, not a problem. I think it's time for the Holy Roman Empire to just fall apart because... Well... I really don't like it. Every time you want to attack them, there's something going on. How much inflation do we have? It's always worth a check. Oh no, it's inflation, so that's good. Still ahead in time with our tax. These are all done, so we could use a few points to develop provinces. Won't be doing that at the moment, but in the future we might. The development of iron working, all very interesting. Missionary in Piemont, almost done. That will bring in even more money. Uh, let's check our force. Yeah, we can um, expand our armies if we want to. Which would be really interesting. Now let's see, this army. Let's make a template. Let's delete that one. What should a army look like? Well, of course we need cannons. A lot of cannons. Maybe something like this should be an army. So let's save that up. And now we can just say, fill it to be like that. So our maintenance cost will go up a bit, but that's fine. Since we have enough, our manpower will go down a bit, but that can just refill. And he made peace. Interesting. Now, of course, he's still allied to Poland and France, and they will join. So we won't be going on to the attack yet, but... Hmm, it opened up... A few options, maybe. We go for Tunis or something. They're allied to the Mamluks, so they are strong, but... And they will join, but... Well, could be something to just say the cross. Or we should just go for Venice. They only have the Knights and Nuremberg as allies. Or is Nuremberg somewhere down here? Oh, just one. Well, we should be able to handle that. And in that case, we can actually take Venice. Now, I always wonder how he does it. He has two provinces and still has a big navy. I wonder how he pays for that. We need to expand our navy again. Let's check our force limit. It's always a smart one first. It is 
48. And let's see if we can create a template. Well, at least I think we need a lot of transport ships, although not too many because we won't be now we won't be transporting that much. And since we are a coastal, a Mediterranean nation, we should only be building galleys at the moment. But let's save this one up. And let's make this fleet just like that. This will take you over the force limit. I don't think so. Exactly 48 ships. Oh, probably have a few. Yeah, we have two trade ships, I think. Oh, two. Oh, well, they can go. No problem. Because with that bigger fleet, we might be able to fight him off. Which actually be very nice. Make a lot of money, so that's not the issue. We have a pretty powerful army. Keep the guy. Well, that's a good option. Let's do so. Britain might join if we promise to give him something against Spain. Not sure what he wants. Probably provinces and colonies or something. I'm not going to conquer those. And it appears that oh, he also has provinces in Mexico. So yeah, they're pretty even in the colonies. Germans are really big, which is a problem. As well, I really need Bohemia to join in in some wars. But not the war with Venice. At least not at the moment. Probably won't be able to just trick him into giving me to know he won't. Alright. Let's send our army there. Wait for our fleet to catch up. Stability or Republican tradition. I want to raise this. Can't see the cost. Expensive though. We'll try that. Alright, that's fine. We can spare those points. Really like a high stability. He doesn't appear to have an army, which is interesting. Oh, probably his army is in Crete. That could be a valid option. Basically, I first want to destroy his trade fleet and then go for this fleet, because then we are stronger. Interesting. Now, let's see. Oh, we already, already picked those. Leather cannon and the gallop cavalry. My fervor. Well, let's put it into war. Gives us a morale bonus, which is really good. There's some money to be made. Yes, in Verona. Local development cost going down, number of buildings you can extra building. This is really expensive, so we're not going to do that yet. Do like more trade power. Let's do it like that. That should be interesting. Fleet's growing. Very good. Got a lot of ships to be built, but that's fine. Going to speed it up a bit more. May have to Pause a second, but for now it looks good. Because now we really get that big fleet we want. Still a lot of Ottoman troops moving back from their war with Castile or Spain as it's called right now. Let's check development costs going down. Yeah, this is all very interesting. We're going to do this one. Take sides in Parliament and we'll lose prestige. So oh, that's really high. There's five support for global trade. Okay. Burgers gain to influence, okay. That's fine. Yep. Just a few more ships. 
got a mission. Ah, create a ground fleet. That's very nice. Those will all help us in our struggle against Venice soon because it's all morale bonuses. Oh, we have no guy in place at the moment. Well, I like the National Unrest guy. And there's a Morale of Navies guy which we can really use. And a Morale Armies guy. I should probably strengthen them. Because that's better. Local defensiveness, that's all fine. Just a few more ships. We will be on our way. Probably see then that he made quite a few extra allies. Well, not so far, but it is an opportunity or a chance. Just one more ship. Put it into the treasure. Oh, we got prestige. Prestige is always for the long run, so we'll go with that. Portugal ended. Ooh, a lot of truces ended. Let's take that one. When will our truce with the Papal State end? Oh, that'll take some time. That's not really useful at the moment. Ah, then we have all our techs, but... Yeah, we can do that. Then we can pick a new idea. What should we get? Could go with Maritime and, and make our navy stronger. I don't really think we need that. What does this do? We're not that diplomatic, so that's not really going to be helpful. Well, I guess I don't really have a clue. Technology costs, that's interesting. Institution spread, monthly war exhaustion, that's real. That's good. I'm gonna go with that one. Think don't think I ever used that one, so we're gonna find out if it's worth it or not. I sure hope so. Do you have the guy with administrative power, which is good because we're going to need him to build all those ideas. Now let's check. Is there money to be made? Only a little. Well that's a good amount of money. But we're going to save it. Our ship is done. We should probably put it there. And as soon as these ships are also in that province, then we should declare war, because then we will destroy those ships immediately. Which would be really good. See, he's just holding them there right now. Ship going away. It's just laying there. Interesting. Well, he has quite a few ships going on. There is a way to see what he has, I believe. Navies. Now let's check Venice. 37 galleys. 21 light ships. Hmm. Not sure we can deal with this fleet, but we can try. 6 now, 4. 6 again. 10, 6. Yep. Improvements in lens making. That's interesting. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to war. Because I really wanna fight. Let's try our fleet. The Knights, Nuremberg, and Savoy. Now that's interesting. Maybe I can vassalize him and then feed him provinces from others. That could be interesting. Bohemia wants to join. Don't really know why. So. We're just gonna go. Perfect, those ships are gone. That's ten less ships. And... Oh, this is helpful. Let's use him to go there. Destroy that army. Perfect. Now, I think I'm going to save my fleet. So I'm going to put them in port. If he attacks, not really a problem. 
because we just need to capture the province and see if we can annex the bunch. Can we go to Savoy? Oh well, that's not really an issue. We want to see Jafanis, that's nice. And we can walk there. Oh, he can go to Savoy right now, that's good. Should probably give him a general. That helps. Yeah, there's his army. Interesting. And should probably go to Nuremberg as well. There's only nine ships there now. It's scattered all the ships, so let's just take them out one by one if we can. Just as fleets. Oh, there's his fleet. Let's repair. Oh, we'll lose the prestige for now. On the siege of Savoy. Interesting. What if I make them my vassal? Only the purple state doesn't like that too much, but that's fine. Maybe I should do the same to Nuremberg. I'm not sure, but we will find out. Probably try and find out which is best to get Nuremberg or the other one. We'll get the crossing penalty. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. He, he gained a ship, so his ships are way stronger than ours. Alright, well, that's interesting to know. I mean, we got a lot of modifiers that should aid our ships, but, ah, uh, well, we lost kind of hard. Now, let's see Nuremberg, if I try and... Oh, I can't force a... We can force our religion, which is interesting. Can't vassalize him, we can do war reparations, not yet, almost. So, then we will force vassalize him, or at least try. Keep the guy, now we'll get a new one. Ah, there's he coming. Let's go there. Try and fight off his troops. Which could be rather interesting. Ah, we fought off those forces. Which is also really nice. Does he already want to sign a peace deal? Not yet. Does he? Yes, he wants the peace deal we want, so that's good. Let's send the demand. Perfect. He's out. Perhaps that helps him decide. No, not yet. Oh, we can't go there anymore. Pity. Well, we are destroying that army, which is also very good. Perfect. Get those guys back. He's probably not going to accept vassalization. But that's fine. He should acknowledge treaties with all those big nations, so we can attack him later. We should force our religion. No, it's a thing he doesn't want. We should get money from him. And that's it. Done. Well, that's a done deal. And now it's just Venice, I believe, and the Knights, but I have no clue what I should do with the Knights, so that's not a problem. Only the Papal State and Venice will join a coalition, but that's fine. So, we'll do it. Perfect. That strengthened our position again. Especially Venice, because that's a pretty good province. And we can embrace an institution, but it's quite costly, so we're going to wait with that. 
Alright, you can cross my land. That's fine. Still making good money. Want some land? No. Hate those unjustified demands. Now, I think all these nations we should be able to fight off, especially together with Bohemia, but going to take that gamble yet. We will in the future, but just not yet. Protestant Zealots. Why are they? We should probably do this. That will help control things. We should put them somewhere out there. To help control things. And I should probably... Ooh. We get... Ooh, that's for a very long time. Inflation, reduction or interest. We're not taking loans. Lose five. Alright, we'll do that. What does this say? Build a treasury. Yearly inflation reduction. 25 years. That's very nice. Well, we could either embrace the institution or focus on gaining... Money, which is what we will be doing. And I believe with all those extra manufacturers we get a chance of getting institution manufacturers. So that's interesting. Probably building one of those right now, so that's good. Do we need global trade though, but we still have time to get that. limit. can have 13 troops more, which isn't enough if we want this to be a full army as well, so we'll have to raise... Ooh, that's interesting. Make 24. That's really expensive, but we can change that one, so let's do so. Let's just get our religious unity as high as possible. That's a morale hit. That's not nice. We want to do a few of those, so we get the force limit up and then we can get that extra army going. Now we probably should build this fleet again. So yeah, let's just do so. We really can use those strong ships. Truce with them should have ended. Oh, he's allied to Spain now also. Well... That's not fight him now. Yeah, Spain is really strong. But with Bohemia and Great Britain we might have a chance. But I don't think Great Britain wants his troops down there. We can lose ducats and gain base tax. Or we get a lot of shit. Alright, let's do that. I think most of Britain's troops will be here. At least they should be. Can't see that, of course, but... Doesn't have a lot of men here. He is still so powerful. Yeah. I think attacking Spain... Maybe something for the future, but that depends on how the, the big nations roll. I mean, we are allied to Bohemia, which is strong, and to Great Britain, but they are far away. And it would really be helpful, though, if we could be nice to the Ottomans. Ooh, we can pick an idea. Are we still far ahead of time? Yes. Let's do so. Prestige decay slowing down. That's nice. We do have a high prestige. Reformed refugees, let them across. They will. Missionary will get stronger in Zurich. I don't know why, but. We 
don't have them present in Zurich, but that's fine. You have a lot of money. Should we do this? Could be wise. Lose two prestige, gain one republic. Alright, let's do that. If we can befriend the Ottomans somehow, we can be really strong against Spain. That would actually be really interesting. They are hostile towards us. So he should be nice to us. But maybe we can change his mind. That would be nice. But at least we gained a few things. And should hope that Spain somehow gets in a war and doesn't want to join. And yeah, we can just do really great things. Now there's of course a chance we could vassalize him. No, no, no. Still part of the Empire, so Austria will join. That's not helpful. Attacking Austria is also not too smart. At the moment, although Great Britain and Bohemia will join, perhaps if we really get him to be our ally at some point, we could just have enough power to actually really attack him quite hard. That will be interesting. Oh, we lost quite a few claims there. Should probably work on that. Yep, no claim here. And we should put it there. Yeah, he hates us a lot, but that's fine. Quite a few provinces to take. Or perhaps at some point Poland can be knocked out of things. Not sure, because he's big. Ooh, Russia is really big as well. We can do that again. I'm not going to do that. Too expensive at the moment. We'll lose all our money. Don't want that. A great advisor died. That's always too bad. And well, we'll do that one. Because he'll give us the most points, which is nice. Getting cheaper already? Not really. Cheap. Probably can't, or oh, it's already a real core, so that's good. Yeah, let's focus on trade for a while, bring in some extra money. Fleet is almost ready again. Yeah, we can still do that, getting cheaper and cheaper, so just wait a bit, it'll be even cheaper. For instance, if Rome. Roma braces it, then it will go really fast, so we'll check. But, well, we did quite a few things. Not as much as I'd hoped for, but yeah, we are making progress. And I think this is a good moment to end this episode, so I'll pause the game. First, let's fabricate those claims, so we at least have one or two going. And then we will end this episode... Yeah, what should we get? This is Graubunden. That's it. Alright. And this will end this episode. And I had fun. I hope you had too. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye bye.